是。What do you what, what do you know about these gems? Yeah, that are meant to be considered kids. Yeah, they're in the category of kids based on their age. But when you look at their stats, it's it's definitely a question of is he really only sixteen? Let's get straight into it. Shout out Paul Gerling, Shah Ali Joza Maximovic, my guys, bro. Um, these gems. I'm using only you man's gems today. I ain't even bringing my own ones. So if you've got any gems, just comment them below. But let's get into it. So we're starting off with Noel Aseko Nkili, who is 16, who plays for the Bayern Munich Under-19s team. This guy is only 16, yeah. And the only thing he's missing right now is a little bit of mental ability, which if you was to focus on, this guy will be a problem in the future. I can tell that already, innit? You get me? You can't even see what role he is. I would already put him... Probably advanced playmaker for his age, man's a very determined guy. You get me? Very, very determined. I like, I like what I see. Very mature for his age. Um, good composure as well. It's just like I said, the decision making needs improvement. But right now, 30 dribbling, 14 flair on that ball, on that ball. Yeah, you don't want that kind of smoke, bruv. The guy is 16. Put him in the, put him in the first team, bruv. You get me? Why not, man? Just start spinning up, spinning up the place. You get me? All right. Next, we've got an 18-year-old called Diego Coppola. You get me now? This is pure no-nonsense, pure bounce of vibes I'm getting here where it's like, yeah, you're not getting past this guy. He's only 18, yeah, and the guy's, he's six foot four with 15 strength. So, it's, let's put it like this, yeah. You think you're running in behind and then all of a sudden you feel, you feel a hand on your shoulder, yeah, that has got the power as if you're getting sucked into a black hole in space. That's what it, it felt like, bro. The guy is massive for his age. And he's got 15 tackling at the age of 18, bro. I've already established the fact that he's not a footballer. Really. Like, he's not good on the ball at all, which is why I said no nonsense. You can't see his role in out to guess that. Probably will be a central defender. But now, nah, I'll do no nonsense. First touch. That's the... That's the... But I'll... Bro, no nonsense defender. This guy's amazing, bro. Man's that, that ticket inspector. Tickets, please. If you ain't get your ticket, you get backhand in your face. The guy like this, he's amazing, man. I love this guy. I mean, I don't, I don't love him, but I think he's a great player, though. All right, next we've got a 19-year-old called Luca Oyen. 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 All right, this guy is actually amazing. If you make him either an inside forward or just a striker, 14 dribbling with 14 first touch is amazing. Technical ability is 14 as well, but then 15 finishing and 15 off the ball. With 14 decisions, this guy is something special. The only thing I'm going to say is that, please, if you sign him, make him play in a front two. Don't make him play on his own. Don't make him be the only striker. The reason why I say that is because I'm looking at things like four stamina, four balance. I'm like, oh my God. But then I saw four strength and I was like, Jesus Christ. We don't want this guy on his own, bro. The defenders will put him in a headlock, bro. They'll kidnap him. Four strength, he can't defend himself, bruv. You get me? You don't send your little toddlers to go shopping for you. You can't have him flipping shopping for goals on his own, bruv. You'll get ambushed, bro. You get me? Might treat him like he's a frisbee and just fling him with one finger, bro. Four strength. I know he's young, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But apart from that, Jesus Christ, bro, I ain't, I ain't using that strength. I'll try. I'll try. Would I sign that? I'll be honest. Would I even sign? I ain't going to lie. If, if I'm desperate and I'm in the corner with a pistol to my face, I'll sign him. If someone forces me to like that, I'll be honest. Well, next we've got a 20-year-old called Arnold Kalimwendo. And this is an example of someone where if he's not scoring, he'll still be effective. Stat-wise, he kind of reminds me like Alexander Lacazette a bit from what I saw when he was at Arsenal in the game, innit? Where he's very well-rounded, he's very good on the ball. Can still shoot as well. Mentally, he's there. Composure and decision making. That's a signable player. He's only 20. I don't think I'll go. Right, bruv, I'm signing that. I'll be honest. Like, he can play for a much bigger club than Rennes. No disrespect to Rennes. They're probably a big club. But no, nah, man. That, bruv, that's an amazing signing right there. Man like Arnold Kalim Wendo. 15 finishing and your striker with 15 off the ball. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll sign that right now. And I know you will too. Don't lie to me, bruv. Don't lie. And the last gem that I've got for you this week is a 19-year-old called Juan Ignacio Nardoni. Now, this guy, he is uh, probably a Mazzella. Based on the stats, it's probably a Mazzella. And the reason why I say it is because he's got pace in that midfield. 
Very good dribbler. 13 dribbling, 14 flair. That's amazing. Let's be honest. For first touch, 14. Like he's a very technical player. He can pass comfortably as well. With 14 technique for and 14 passing. Um, yeah, definitely Mazzella. The only thing I'll say is that you might think you're watching Robocop half the time this guy's playing football because everything's going to look hella robotic. The guy's got 10 composure. He needs to work on that. But he's 19. The guy's only 19, so you can't really get too mad. And would I sign that? Depending on what on what level team I'm at, he's signable. Like It's obviously not going to be the highest level, but mid-table, lower-tier level, man can sign that still. But no, nah, that's a decent little gem. Jesus Christ. Well, if you've got any gems, comment them below. And shout out Ali Jose Maximovic, shout out Paul Gerlin. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next gem episode for the gems. Have a good day.